Now, Moonshine Mob might not be the hardest boss, but they are a bit tricky to fight going in blind. But that's where I come in to help you guys out to easily S-rank Moonshine Mob. So the loadout I recommend going into the fight is Roundabout as shot A, Crackshot or Chaser as shot B, I personally recommend Crackshot, Energy Beam as your super, and Smoke Bomb as your charm. Roundabout is mainly used for the second phase of this fight, but this shot is good overall and good for this fight. The homing attack is used mainly for the last phase in order to get some damage in while the snout keeps on popping in and out. Energy Beam just allows you to beat the boss faster, but using invincibility could be used here instead. And Smoke Bomb is very useful for the second phase, which might be obvious. With that, let's get into the fight. When you enter the fight, I immediately go to the lower floor and use Roundabout so I can get as much damage as possible. This is a bit unnecessary to do, so if you don't want to do this, then just hold weapon lock button and try to get a few shots in before he walks off the screen. After this, you pretty much want to just stay on the middle platform and just shoot and wait for him to pop out again. You can try to guess which platform he'll appear next, but no big deal if you don't get it right. Just try to angle your shots and hit him as much as possible. Do not worry about getting any parries here, just focus on getting past his phase as fast as possible. Anyways, the spider mobster has three different attacks he can do. He can summon bombs, call in flag goons to get in the way, or kick a caterpillar that travels across the screen. Now if he does the bomb attack, I personally recommend trying to get rid of these via getting close to trigger them, and then dashing away. Getting these out of the way, especially out of the middle platform, will make getting past this phase less complicated to do. When he brings up the phone and calls in backup, the fly goons appear in the background and come to the foreground at a seemingly random time, but they have very little health, so taking them out is effortless. Fun fact, you can surprisingly duck under the flies. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's enough room honestly, but lo and behold you can. Not the most useful tip since they are already easy to defeat, but it's good to know. Now the caterpillar that he can kick around can be destroyed, so I would recommend destroying it ASAP since it doesn't have much health. Constantly trying to dodge it is pretty annoying and can get in the way, but if you don't have a problem with it, then do whatever you want. Just keep on trying to get as much damage on the spider mobster while dodging the attacks and he'll go down soon. The second phase can be tricky, without smoke bomb. But with smoke bomb and roundabout, this phase becomes almost effortless. So the light bug that gets sent down by the spider mobster dances and moves side to side on the middle platform, but it doesn't take the whole platform. The light bug also brings a gramophone that blasts out six spaced sound wave lines that rotate around the stage, three going clockwise and three going counterclockwise. Either the three clockwise rotating waves or the three counterclockwise rotating waves start turning yellow for a couple of seconds before turning red and twisted, dealing damage. Usually you would just need to run away from the damaged sound waves, but with Smoke Bomb, we can just dash with the attack and keep on doing so through each line until the attack is over. Now an even better strategy is to stay on the middle platform, hug the side of the screen facing that direction, and hold the roundabout shot. You'll be able to constantly deal damage to the light bug with roundabout. But what about the sound waves you may ask? Well luckily, you can still smoke dash even if you're dashing essentially in place since you're hugging the edge of the screen. This means you can stay in place, dodging the sound waves with smoke dash, all while constantly dealing damage to the light bug with no rests. This causes this phase to go by extremely fast, and makes this phase basically free. The only thing you might need to get good at is timing your dash in order to dodge the red sound waves, but that's literally it. The last phase can be quite tough to beat. The Anteater stays in the background and uses his long snout to poke around the three platforms from either side of the screen. He can extend his tongue out fully across what used to be a platform, eat a bunch of ant cops and fly mobsters, and spit out a ball of scuffle that bounces around the screen. The Anteater may also fake out extending his tongue fully as well, so be careful getting too close to his snout. His tongue that comes out can be parried, even from below without taking damage. This is important to note because you can actually parry his tongue, and it counts for your parries towards the S rank. I was enlightened to this from a comment from my tier list video, so thanks to that comment for telling me about this. This means that all you need to do is parry the tongue three times during this phase, and you get the parry requirement. These parries also count for health towards heart ring, so using heart ring for this fight is definitely viable. But then that means you'll need to handle the second phase without the trick using smoke bomb. With that, standing in the middle of the screen with your homing attack is the safest way to get past this fight. Although it will take a while since for whatever reason the homing attack tracks the tongue when it's out. Because of this, if the tongue extends out from the middle or top platform area, I would just go under the snout with either roundabout or a homing attack so the attacks actually hit. Another thing I forgot to mention about this ball of scuffle that the anteater shoots out is that you can destroy it with enough well-aimed shots. At the end when you defeat the anteater, the game gives you a fake knockout screen, and the snail from the beginning appears from under the anteater's hat and shoots some sound wave attacks from his megaphone. Just move around and use your homing attack basically. The snail goes down in like 3 seconds, so just make sure not to stand still and that's the end of the fight. Now something I didn't mention before is that spread shot is also pretty good for the first phase and the last phase if you can get close, but I would only use spread if you're also not using smoke bomb unless you choose to replace the homing attack instead. 
Another thing is that the time requirement is kind of an issue with this fight, but doing the smoke bomb and roundabout trick allows you to save a lot of time, thus you should get the time requirement with a good amount of time to spare. With that, hopefully this video helped you out and maybe helps you understand what you can do to make each phase a bit easier to manage to get that S rank. Please consider liking and subscribing and leave any comments down below. Now here is an unedited playthrough of the boss. I'll see you all in the next video. Okay, so my ladder is going to consist of roundabout, crack shot, uh, super art one, so which is energy meme because it really does not matter which super art you pick, even though uh, giant ghost sucks, uh, and smoke bomb. So uh, for a second phase, so let's go. Okay, I'm gonna drop down immediately uh, when I can and use roundabout. Just get as much. Oh god, I've messed up, but get as much DPS as possible. Literally, just because I'm basically greedy. I do not know where I was okay from. Pretend that didn't happen. I literally did not know. I don't know. I, don't, I didn't see, I, I'm so bad. It is, it's whatever. It's whatever. Just one retry. One retry. That was a mace help. Okay. Just keep them going. I want to get rid of these bombs in the middle platform since this is the main platform I'm going to be on. Can I dodge? I can. I didn't even know I could do that. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, dude. I didn't know I could do that. Okay. I'm, I am playing real risky here. I'm surprised I haven't taken a hit yet. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, okay. That was close. Not gonna lie. Okay, just in time. All right. uh, like EX, just so I don't forget. So I can get the super uh, requirement. Literally just stand here. We're just gonna stand at the edge. Uh, should the blue ladybug won't, uh, the light bug won't uh, come to us and we can just literally shift. Uh, and I mean, dodge these. Dodge now, just in case, dodge now. Dodge. Okay, that was just the case. I have my super. I'll use that for the last phase. Actually, I might. Be, I think this might do damage to the last phase. I'm gonna try this. Um, let's see. I, I don't know if that's the case, but uh, either way, I got my super, so it's fine. Okay, so, so now, so standing in the middle. Uh, he's gonna do it now. Three parries. Okay, this freaking stupid. Okay, go under so I can just do a little bit more damage. Oh, that was close. Ah, he did that one quick. Ah, destroy already, come on! Oh, he faked me out with that. Oh, that was close! <laughs> okay, uh, no, I'm just gonna be patient here. I'm not gonna do anything fancy. Literally, just gonna just go back and forth. Okay, well, there we go. Okay, right, let's hope we got the, the time bonus. Uh, I'm honestly not... I, I think I did, but like for some reason I don't have much confidence. Uh, for whatever reason. Oh wow, we have more than enough time. See, boom, there you go. Well, that's the S rank there. So, first try, uh, as always, you know, I do these all first try. Just <laughs> if I wasn't uh, known, but. Well, uh, hopefully this helps you out, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video.